What do you think of when I say Minecraft? Let me tell you what I thought of. Streaming YouTubers playing Hunger Games. Because that's the final impression Minecraft left on me. But times have certainly changed. In the span of just six months, Minecraft has risen again to one of the top spots in online gaming entertainment. Lots of people are playing the game again. But why? What caused the influx of interest towards Minecraft again? What are the reasons for players returning? And how the hell did Minecraft YouTubers survive from 2016 until now? Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, no, it makes sense, makes sense. See, I was curious about this too, so I spent the past few days researching the collapse and resurrection of Minecraft. YouTube 2012 Many gaming YouTube channels have begun uploading Minecraft content and the algorithm is loving it all, pushing many YouTube viewers to watch the latest Minecraft Let's Play. If you were uploading regular Minecraft gameplays in 2012, the chances are you've either been or still are a YouTuber. Many careers were formed on the back of Minecraft, and in contrast, Minecraft's popularity skyrocketed. This led to more players, and more players meant more content, such as adventure maps like the It's Better Together co-op map, story-based content such as the Shadow of Israel series from the Gods at the Yogs cast, Please finish it. and mods. Hello, and welcome to the Yogs cast. We're here for the update. Mods time. arguably had the biggest impact in the game's popularity since the initial explosion of interest in the game. Everyone wanted to play Tech It. Automating the process of basically everything in the game was awesome, and this concept alone has been taken and made into very successful games that many, many people enjoy. But that's a different story for another day. Minecraft was so popular because there was essentially no other game like it. A concept of a game like Minecraft was explored by the director of Perfect Dark, Martin Hollis. Codenamed Game Zero for the GameCube, the game was greenlit, but due to the technical limitations at the time, the project was canned. Minecraft sparked many people to create content for others to enjoy on YouTube, but little did we know, this would be one of the game's biggest downfalls. Oversaturation played a massive role in the slowdown of Minecraft's growth and popularity. Everyone was creating content on Minecraft, which many people grew tiresome of. Some players even became so frustrated with the lack of variety between different videos on YouTube that they stopped playing altogether. And then stepped in Microsoft, Mojang, and in consequence Minecraft were acquired by Microsoft for $2.5 billion. And whilst Notch had his reasons for selling Minecraft, players still felt disheartened and betrayed by Notch and Mojang for allowing Microsoft to purchase their beloved game. Many members of the community agreed that Microsoft sent Minecraft in the wrong direction. The heavy push for microtransactions and the bedrock additions of Minecraft pissed many players off, but what arguably caused the most hassle was the Eula changes to the game, which players blamed Microsoft for. A common misconception in the acquisition of Mojang by Microsoft is that they are heavily involved in the development process of Minecraft, but this just isn't the case. Mojang are still the sole developers of Minecraft, they just operate under Microsoft, who reap all the profits of Minecraft. However, Microsoft probably handles all the third-party entities of Minecraft, such as Story Mode from Telltale Games. Me too. <laughs> Imagine playing the same game daily to entertain hundreds of thousands of viewers, uploading the same thing over and over again for new and old viewers to enjoy. Eventually, you'll grow tired of creating content for that game. This is what happened to many YouTubers. They simply burnt out and grew bored of Minecraft. Many of them felt refreshed when branching out to new content, and while some uploaded Minecraft from time to time, some just flat out stopped. Many YouTubers had different reasons for branching beyond Minecraft, but the one that sticks to me the most is Sky Does Minecraft's reasoning behind quitting Minecraft, in which he states he hates the direction the game is heading and believes the community is becoming worse, and in some cases, he was right. Personally, I feel like it's, it's time to move on. I can't force myself to sit here and play this game anymore. Um, it's just not fun for me. I don't enjoy it. It's shown in my content for the past couple years at this point that it's, it's clear that I'm just kind of unhappy with this game. I'm unhappy with the community. The community who grew up with Minecraft is now under invasion by a younger, more toxic audience, which pushed many of the older players away. But this was about to change. Welcome to Fortnite! 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 Fortnite. The release of Fortnite and the fact that it was a decent, free-to-play battle royale game took the internet by storm. Eventually, many of the toxic children of Minecraft moved away to Fortnite and other free-to-play battle royales. As the game's community detoxed, many of the older fans returned to enjoy the game for a second time, which is what we're witnessing now. Arguably, Hytale has generated a second wave of interest in Minecraft again as it draws similarities to Minecraft. Some community members are labelling it as Minecraft 2, and even Notch discussed its close resemblance to Minecraft. 
but instead of calling it a quick cash grab, he praised the creators behind the development of Hytale, Hypixel Studios, as they've done so much for Minecraft in terms of modding and servers. The nostalgia factor plays a major role in many of the older Minecraftians. They distanced themselves from the game for such a long time that they've begun reminiscing in the past about the good old days of Minecraft. And since the game is around today, they can just download the launcher, spawn into a new world with an abundance of new content to sink hours into, just like the first time they started playing. I've returned to Minecraft due to nostalgia. I miss the excitement of finding diamonds after I've spent hours exploring endless caves. What finally pushed me over the edge to play again was a mix between watching Jay Slats a tribute to Minecraft for the seventh time, and I'm not joking. I've seen this video way too many times, and I'll probably watch it again once I finish writing the script. This, and the mix of everyone saying that it was okay to play Minecraft again, made me livestream Minecraft for the first time in years, and I had a blast playing it. I didn't even like the look of the new updates. That stupid combat thing that they did with the swiping weapons just looked annoying to get used to, but it was implemented so well. Combat feels so fun and fair now, plus the implementation of the shield was literal juice. Back in my day you could just blame poor RNG if you died, but now that's just not the case. You're just bad. No! 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 With the resurrection of Minecraft, many YouTubers who left the game have returned to see what new content Minecraft can bring to the table. Some careers are even being kickstarted by the game again, because the YouTube algorithm is once again favouring Minecraft. Many players of the Minecraft community have matured, which changes the dynamic of a Let's Play on Minecraft today. The humour is more crude, and overall the vibe is incredible. Everyone's returning to the world of Minecraft to have some laughs with the lads. Minecraft has had a bigger impact than anyone could have ever realised, and not just in the gaming industry. This game has inspired so many creators to upload their first videos to YouTube. I know that's the reason I'm here today, creating videos. I can guarantee that you've probably uploaded a Minecraft survival let's play once in your life. I'll always be thankful to Mojang and many of the YouTubers I used to watch for igniting my passion for content creation. Thanks for watching my video on the second coming of Minecraft. If you want to do further reading on my sources, you can find them just below the like button. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel to be notified when I make more videos. And if you feel like I've missed anything, you can comment below or tweet me.